Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kaylee, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make Chloe from Secret Life of Pets out of Play-Doh, like this. So follow along if you wanna find out how. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make some lavender Play-Doh. So I'll just take some purple and some white and mix these together. I'll take my coloring sheet and lay that on top and see if it's big enough. I think it is. Now I'll just trace the design with the pinwheel tool, which you can find in the bakery section of your local craft store. It's usually in there with the cake decorating supplies. Okay, now that we have the shape of Chloe, I'm going to cut it out with the blade tool. And this can also be found in the baking section. And now I'll just lift away all the excess. Okay, and now we have our shape of Chloe. So one thing I'm gonna do before I keep going forward is make another shape in a different color to lay this on top of because I want it to be more sturdy. So for the background color, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm just gonna pick orange. That way it'll be easier to see where the background is so I can trim it away when I'm done. And again, you want this to be as big as your design. It doesn't have to be super thick. Once again, I'll cut this out with the blade tool. Now I'll just lay the purple part on top of the orange. Now don't worry if they don't completely match up because after I get the rest of Chloe done, I'm going to trim away the extra. And I'm just pressing this onto my background. You can kind of smooth the edges with your fingers too. And this is another tool that I like to use. You can also find this in the baking section. And I just use this to smooth out any lines or creases. Okay, first I'm going to make the inside of her ears. So for that I'm just taking a tiny, tiny bit of pink. And I made sort of a teardrop shape. And then I use my ball tool to kind of smooth that out. And I'm just using this blade tool to make it more of a triangle shape. Okay, next I'm gonna make Chloe's eyes. So for her eyes, they're so small that I'm just gonna use a shape instead of tracing them. So for that, I'll take a little tiny piece of white. And now I'm just kind of pressing that in. And Chloe has lime green eyes. She has really bright green ones. So now I'm gonna take a tiny bit of lime green into a ball. And now I'll use a little tiny bit of black for the very inside. And now I'm gonna do the outline of her eye with some more black. Okay. 
So for this part, I'm just looking at her eye and she has a line going across on both sides. And that's the part I'm making right now. two little tiny lines for the side of her eyelids. her eyelids a little bit different. So I'm going to pull these away. And I'm just going to make little indentations where her eyelids are. Okay, now I'm going to make her little pink nose. take some gray and make lines because cat whiskers are kind of gray colored they're not exactly black Now for the final touch, I'm just going to add her black outline. Okay, so I'm almost done with Chloe, and now what I'm going to do is make some fur strokes. So I'm going to start right here on her stomach, and then I'm going to make little lines all the way around the border so it looks like she's furry. For the last step, I'm just going to trim away all of the excess orange on the background so that you don't have to see that. Okay, and one more thing I like to do is spray it with water so that it doesn't dry out. just using a little water bottle that I got from the dollar store. 
Okay guys, and here is Chloe from Secret Life of Pets, all done. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite character from Secret Life of Pets is. And if you want to see more Play-Doh designs just like this one, click on the thumbs up. This is Kaylee for DCTC, and thanks for watching!